Well, today is World Facilities Management Day and the global facilities management community has come together to celebrate and encourage the profession. With me in the studio is the chairman, Finance Committee Nigeria FM Initiative, Tiokumbo Lawa. Good to have you join us at this time. Thank you for having me. Well, mm. facility management sounds new, especially mm -hmm. to the Nigerian mm -hmm. system because people are wondering, mm -hmm. okay. does this group actually exist? Okay. Uh, first of all, let me uh, define what facility management is, basically. Facility management is an organizational function that integrates people, place, and process in the built environment for the purpose of improving the quality of life of the people and the productivity of their core business. So basically, it's been around. It's been around for over 20 years. And um, basically, what we're trying to do now is to just celebrate the World FM Day globally. All right. So is there a link between facility management and maintenance culture? Because mm -hmm. that's one thing that seems to be missing in a lot of mm -hmm. communities and especially mm -hmm. in our own climb. Okay. Well, the good thing is that the, what we're celebrating this year, the theme is celebrating the creation of the ISO 41000, which basically is creating standards globally where we all uh, unify our efforts so we all speak the same language, the same vocabulary, the same system, the same processes. And what that means is local companies and huge organizations can have a comfort that local companies can operate at the global standard. So that will begin in effect have a, a, an impact on the maintenance culture in Nigeria. Facilities management has been around, like I said earlier, and we actually contribute about 1.8% to the global, to the GDP. All and right. the demand is mostly from the private sector and the public sector is 3.3 billion. There's still a huge gap. If we want to benchmark that with the global economy, we, we, we should be looking at about 6 to 8% and we're still at 1.8%. So. Once we, w we have that market, once you make that shift, you will see that impact on the maintenance culture in Nigeria. Well, let's uh, fully mm -hmm. you know, situate this now. Mm -hmm. We'll see some of our facilities out mm -hmm. there talk mm -hmm. about the National Stadium, the yes. mm -hmm. National Museum, mm -hmm. and you're wondering what has mm -hmm. become of mm -hmm. these facilities. Mm -hmm. So do we blame facility managers mm -hmm. <laughs> for failing their role for mm -hmm. us to be where we are now mm -hmm. because it is their duty mm -hmm. uh, to maintain these facilities or call mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. to maintenance of these mm -hmm. facilities? Well, the first thing is the facility managers are involved in, they should be involved in the entire value chain of the real estate. So basically they're supposed to be part of the design during building and then when you hand over to the facility managers. And the good thing is the government now, the, first, the, the organization, the IFMAN in initiative has basically sponsored a bill to ensure that facility managers are involved in all this process. And what's the progress uh, of that bill? So I th we've had the third reading and it's still progressing to, to actually have it, have it rectified into the, in, 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 in the house. So basically that will actually now make sure that FM standards are put in into in, into your public space so that things like pro uh, properties like the uh, national stadiums and stuff like that can no. get maintained properly. okay sorry uh, i'm rushing all right and another thing is mm. when you talk about facilities management people mm. think about okay the janitors you know mm -hmm. the regular people mm -hmm. who help with cleaning we mm -hmm. have around how can the role of facility managers be upgraded such mm -hmm. that they're given uh, a prominent role in mm -hmm. the society so Part of, again, what we're trying to do is to promote awareness and raise the profile of FM. FM includes, it's really integration of all these various disciplines in engineering, in janitorial, in uh, office spaces, even administration in all those. It's all outsourcing of everything in the built environment. So part of what we're doing, also doing as an initiative as a group and as part of the World FM Day is to raise awareness. Uh, to let people know what it is that facility managers can do and contribute to their business in terms of um, extending the, ensuring that they affect their uh, bottom All line right. positively. Tokumbo, it's a good way to end it. Tokumbo mm -hmm. uh, Lawal is uh, Chairman Finance Committee, Nigeria FM Initiative. Thanks mm -hmm. for joining us at this time. You are very welcome. Thanks for having me.